Today's cloud environment brings together three critical domains, development operations, cloud configurations, and cloud runtime. On the development side, teams create and manage cloud application and infrastructure code connected to CI CD pipelines for continuous integration and deployment. While on configuration side, teams need to properly configure services with their many configurations, human and non-human identities, and their permissions with APIs connecting all components. On the runtime side, teams need to manage and secure a diverse mix of workloads, from virtual machines to containerized applications, orchestrated by Kubernetes, running various processes. In these deployments, code repositories can hide thousands of vulnerabilities, while the cloud configuration layer has become a minefield, with hundreds of cloud services each having dozens of settings, where a single misconfiguration could directly expose critical data to the public internet. At the same time, identity management has spiraled out of control. In many cases, 50% of cloud identities have super admin privileges, yet less than 2% of these permissions are ever used, creating an enormous hidden threat and attack surface for bad actors to exploit. On the runtime side, workloads are generating massive amounts of security and telemetry data. The stakes are particularly high in the cloud where a single compromised workload with internet exposure can become an attacker's gateway, leading to lateral movement across your infrastructure and gaining access to your critical data and databases with confidential or sensitive information. Lacework 40 CNAP unifies these three security domains. Developers can automatically identify application and infrastructure code risks and streamline remediation before they reach production. Security teams gain continuous monitoring of cloud configurations, identities, and their activity, and workload behavior with patented machine learning to spot active attacks in progress. Let's see how this works. Let's start in the Vulnerabilities tab, where 40CNAP prioritizes CVEs by uniquely monitoring if vulnerable packages are actively running and exploitable in your workloads. 40CNAP highlights the most important assets to focus on. These container images are active and exploitable, and therefore should be prioritized for remediation. However, scrolling down, you can see container images that are currently offline and can be deprioritized as they aren't of immediate concern. This level of context is critical for teams to operationalize overwhelming security data and prioritize necessary work. The Explorer view maps relationships between security risks, revealing each host's potential exploitation paths and blast radius. This particular virtual machine is exposed to the internet, has a number of critical vulnerabilities, is misconfigured, and also is associated with active threat alerts. All very important context for prioritizing remediation efforts. Lacework 40C NAP is the only solution that detects early signs of an active attack by automatically combining multiple signals, including low severity ones, into a single high priority composite alert. We can see from this composite alert that our database server was compromised by a bad actor, and ultimately, they installed a crypto miner, among other things. The platform also features an AI-powered assistant to help clarify why this alert was generated, better understand the associated risk, and gain step-by-step -step guidance on how to investigate and respond to this alert. In the way of cloud infrastructure entitlement management, commonly referred to as KIM, you can utilize 40CNAP to review the riskiest identities and how they're actually being used. In this case, you can quickly see that this identity has far more permissions than it needs. Using this feature helps reduce the potential blast radius if credentials are ever compromised. 40CNAP can do a lot more. Talk to one of our team members for any questions. If you enjoyed the experience, show a thumbs up hand gesture or tap the like button.